Hi everybody, today we're going to be making these drawer pulls using a router. I need these drawer pulls for my assembly table. Some of you have already seen the first three videos. The fourth video and final video is coming out soon. But before I can do that, I need to make drawer pulls for it. And so that's why I'm making these today. Uh, I'm going to need at least 12 of them. I'm probably going to make more of them. And to do that, I want to use a router. And if I'm going to use a router, I'm going to have to build a, a template so that way I can create the shape that I'm looking for. To build the templates, we're going to need to make a temporary template. So that way we can create the shapes that we want in our permanent templates. And to do that, I designed these shapes on paper in SketchUp. Um, you can have these actually, uh, if you go to my website, you can just download it for free if you're gonna make draw pulls like this. Um, and I'm gonna be gluing it down onto some thinner material. Any thin material that you have would probably do. And from there, you're gonna see how I put all of this st stuff together. These handles are going to be made out of red oak. Unfortunately, I don't have the means to mill down my own lumber to my own dimensions. So I'm taking two pieces of three quarter inch and I'm going to glue them together. And when they're dry, I am going to mill them down the best I can with the tools that I have. I let this dry overnight and now I'm going to mill it down the best I can using my jointer and my table saw to one and three eighths inches square. Next, I take it to the miter saw and I cut it down to length. Uh, the length I chose was seven and three quarters. So I'm gonna share with you my trials and my errors here uh, and hoping that this will save you time if you're gonna do this. So my first attempt, and this was practice and I did it off camera, was to just cut all of the excess off with the bandsaw, okay, and then uh, pass it through the router with the templates like I did on this part here. Um, and what I found out was that that was not a good idea because by carving all the excess wood off of this block, 
Uh, I made it very difficult for it to sit in the te other templates without moving. So for example, this template is gonna cut this little curve on the bottom. Now what happened is this, it's not sitting. This is, this became a problem. So uh, I think what we, I'm gonna do with the rest of these handles is I am going to go cut off one section of the handle, go to the router, clean it up. Then go cut off another section of the handle, go to the router, clean it up and so on. And leave this part for last because that way it won't create this problem I just showed you in the template. I am using a three quarter inch pattern bit with a half inch shank. It is two inches long. Uh, I bought it specifically for this project on Amazon. It was $20, which is not a lot of money for a bit like this. Uh, so I'm hoping it gets the job done because the good ones are really expensive. So let's see how this one works. I'm putting this board on top of my router plate and I'm using double stick tape because this thing stinks. This is not even with this, and it's going to be a problem when I'm uh, using this template. So to kind of keep everything more flat, I'm just going to put something like this over it. That way, it'll slide better, and I hopefully won't run into any trouble. So this is not going to move, and I'm also, I also put double stick tape in here, because that way, I can put my block, put my block in here, and it won't move on me or pop out when I'm using the router. So let's see how this thing goes. So far, it is working very nicely, very smooth. However, this is the grain here, and when you are routing against the grain like that, you're looking for trouble. Um, it could split on you, it could just fly off the uh, router table. So I'm going to flip this over that way uh, when I'm routing. I'll be routing with the grain and hopefully I get a nice smooth finish near the side also. The person that I watched and really learned a lot from uh, when it came to using a router was Jonathan Katz Moses. He has an awesome channel and he did a great video on this. And I will link that video in the des description if you're kind of a novice at using a router because he taught me a lot um, and it really, uh, it might help you too. So I'll put that in there for you. So this is the end result. Uh, the bit is very nice. It's very smooth, clean cut, no chips. Let's go on to the next part. You can use any product you want to finish these. I'm probably gonna use some kind of an oil. I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna do that in the next video when I actually finish this table. I'm also gonna install these in the next video. So if you wanna see that uh, and you're not subscribed, please think about doing that. Hit the little bell icon and that'll let you know when I post the next video. If you want the template to make these, um, just go to my website. The link is in the description below and you can download it. It's a PDF file. Um, and also if you want to see what's going on before I post new videos, I do post videos and pictures on Instagram. You can follow me there if you like. The link is also in the des description below. And like always, I hope everyone is doing well and that everyone is healthy. And I will see you in the next one.